1538. I hope that'll at least be enough to capture. So again, where's the little marker for the eye anyway? Does it think I'm supposed to recognize it? I guess that's safe, but it might not be great as far as time warp. Nope. Well, it seems like we can capture with this stage, and yeah, I guess it'll work for Descent. And we will start this earlier. So, this sort of thing it seems to do very well. For the capture burns, I sort of like it. For a lot of the other burns, I don't. Um, so it tells us how early we have to start for the capture burn. Is this radiation thingy doing stuff? Nope, it didn't seem to automatically do it. High orbit, it just doesn't just doesn't do it automatically sometimes. Oh, it's blinking that. Guess I'll transmit what's there for now. There's a weird shadow on it sometimes. What's that weird shadow that happens? I feel like I'm smacking right into it, but we are we do have very low periapsis, so I guess it'd feel like that. I'm not impressed by your ring. I want to find your eye and smack into it. I don't know, is this good enough to avoid hitting one of those ridges? A poodle time. I'm gonna give myself the freedom to point away from that. Oh, we've got 384 science, and it only takes 40 units to transmit it, so let's do that. It gives me that that particular mountain is a bit tall. Eye of Dreads. Does anything here look like an eye to you? I think. Okay, no, we captured all right. It's going. Have we passed the capture event yet? Okay. Well, we're here. Hopefully at a usable inclination. Maybe it's in on the dark side right now and I just can't see it. Well, let's time warp here. Well, I guess that's it. Is that it? You can sort of imagine an eye there, an eye there, and a quick crooked mouth there, but it's not super decisive. Anyway, I guess that's what we're going for. Alright, retrograde. I'm wondering whether I should use this 500 meters per second and thereby junk this stage into the surface along with this experiment or leave it in orbit. I don't know why it's paused. Well, now it's running. Oh, then it pauses. Hmm. Well, I'm annoyed by it. All right, uh, we'll we'll use the stage. Those mountains look a little bit pokey. Could be a little bit better to find than that. What the heck is that? I don't know what it is. But I mean, we were presuming that this is the eye eye. Is that of significance or is it just a random occurrence? Hmm. So maybe we should land on this side right here. So we can access that with the Kerbal. Doesn't really show up here, whatever it is. It's definitely something. Hopefully that's close enough to the eye part of this business. Maybe it's just a rock. I mean, it, it seems like it's just a cliff. Yeah, it's, it's like 
where, where you hold up your lion cub and that sort of thing. Okay, off you go. Well, we're inside of it, whatever it is. Hopefully it is into the eye enough for the contract. Well, when there's low gravity, it takes a while to get to the surface. Why is it that when I get close to the terrain, it always starts to look more and more slopey? Well, that wasn't the greatest explosion I've ever seen here. Oop, shadowy. Weird lighting effects. It's hard for me to tell whether it is super slopey or just slightly slopey. This part is super slopey, but what about this part over here? Oh, uh, it's not super slopey, just sort of slopey. Well, we're definitely in the realm of that, but some experiments must be run by a Kerbal on EVA, yeah. Well, anyway, let's transmit what we can. Can we transmit? Maybe we can't transmit. The antenna is on the other thing. I should have just put the antenna on here. But it doesn't seem like Mission Control is satisfied that we land on the eye. But we have to plant a flag though. Whoops. I thought I put a ladder on here. Now it's disappeared. I knew it was, there was something fishy about that ladder. Did it get buried? Well, okay, fine. It's probably low enough gravity that it doesn't matter, probably. Plant a flag. Uh, bill on... oops. Bill on Trez. So, are we poking the eye or not? Good question. We're about to find out. Well, it says Drez Eye of Drez, so... Drez Eye of Drez. Is there a Drez Eye of Jewel? No. <laughs> anyway. Seems like we poked it in the eye. Alright. Hey, he's doing a little dance. Okay, and crew observation. Should we go up to the cliff? Where is the cliff? Uh, how did you already get that experiment? Okay. Um, this might be a bad idea, but we're going up to the cliff. Let me save first. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't use the jetpack. It's a long way, actually. Maybe I should save the jetpack for going up there. Oh no, it says the pod is on a crash trajectory. This is further than I thought we were going to be, but... I'm wondering now whether once we've done this, they're going to come up with another mission for Drez. So far, they have had no shortage of secondary missions. We should get a running start off of the cliff and see if we can make it to the pod like that. Well, I saved before embarking on this journey, so we'll just restore the save afterwards. And the official line would be that Bill had never been to the cliff. Well, I think we ought to run at this point. It doesn't seem to be getting any closer. Maybe it's just... It seems boring, this cliff. I see as I get closer. I'm dubious about the value of visiting it. 
How far are we from the pod, though? Oh, wow, we're 7.2 kilometers away. Okay. Just the fact that I can rotate like this and not even see the Kerbal is weird. Oh, they made a detailed thing here, though it has a seam there for some reason. Must be a point to it, right? Right? Hmm. Do I have enough mob propellant to get up there? Is it close enough that I should jetpack now? I don't even know how much jetpack this is gonna take. But I guess we're about to find out. Up we go. Oh, I, I, the Kerbal's gonna smack into some. Oh, uh, I can't see the Kerbal. Ah. Uh. I think I overdid it. Uh. Definitely overdid it. Uh. I'm going a little fast. Ow. Oh, oh wow, they, they, they have really good resilience on fast landings, don't they? Okay, is this a new biome? Ultimate Quarter Pipe. It's called the Ultimate Quarter Pipe, but we don't have enough... I, I don't think we have enough mob propellant to go back, actually. <laughs> I don't even know if it contributed that much to the science. Doesn't seem well. Where, where's the? Come on. Ultimate qu ah, it's not worth it. Look, it's fourteen point four and three point two. That sucks. You know the eye of Dres is two thousand five hundred ninety-two and eight hundred sixty-four, and then this ultimate quarter pipe is only fourteen point four and three point two. Shocking. I'm very disappointed. Oh, no, no, don't use that yet. Don't. Why Why do they always T-pose on Leif but never T-pose the Seer, by the way? Maybe we'll get a subsequent mission that says land at the ultimate quarter pipe. Okay, well, I don't think we're gonna survive this. But it's time to go. What is the maximum speed a Kerbal can impact the ground at and still survive. I don't want to walk 6.6 .6 kilometers though. Uh, okay, that's too fast. All right, we're, we're gonna load the save. That was an experiment. <laughs> uh, we're gonna load the save. Uh, so we just gotta skip the quarter pipe until they tell us to go there. It's just not worth it. It's a silly place. You've still got most of the science, right? Let's see. Science inventory. Yeah. So it seemed like a 30 meter per second impact was okay. Oh, I don't have the ladder right. Uh, but. 80, definitely too much. So somewhere in the middle. I don't know what if it depends on gravity or anything. I was looking for the ladder, but we didn't have the ladder. Ah, okay. Let's, uh, what is the phase, well, we, let's just get into it first and then figure out what the phase angle to return to Kerbin is. Stupid ultimate. Is that really a quarter pipe? I don't feel like it is. I think that's a misrepresentation. Oh! Oh! The ultimate quarter pipe stretches from that all the way to over here. But then the eye is part of the ultimate quarter pipe then. 
But I still don't think it's a quarter pipe. It's not. It doesn't have the right curve, darn it. I'm not buying it. Didn't even see this one. The rings seem to produce weird shadow effects, I guess. Can't even see them right now. This ridge might need some more mesh. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, I think that's the ring shadow sort of creeping along. Once again, my camera's gone weird. Is it because I pressed the middle mouse button? I feel like it. Yeah, I think it was because I accidentally tried to mess with the middle mouse button and got all crazy. So the middle mouse button doesn't do panning the way it used to. Okay. Let me look up what the return angle is. Kerbin has to be in front of us by 30 degrees. Okay, Kerbin is there. That's more like 50 degrees. We're gonna have to wait a whole year, though. Uh, well... I'm sitting here with 3,000 meters per second. Maybe we can figure it out like this. Let's see. That 2A and 2B work, but maybe we can get them in. Oh, 1A and 1B are looking good right there. <sighs> I should have stuck with what I had before. Okay, we'll just take that. So we need 1,300, which is not bad. I overdid it. That, uh, what you got? Transfer planner, tra trip planner convinced me. I mean, I thought that it would only take 1,500, excuse me, 1,500 to get back from Drez. But that is not what that trip planner was saying. Hmm, once again, I have to wonder about the timing. I think I should just go. I mean, you see, where it concludes the red line is where it thinks our burn is going to end. It would be horrible to go all the way out there. I mean, so earlier is better and probably more efficient. I mean, of course, adjustment will be necessary, but we've got the Delta V for it, so... I can't see where... well... We'll just judge from the distance which way to pull things. Moon encounter. <laughs> No, no, thank you. No, oh, we'll take that first and then we'll adjust the periapsis when we get there. So that's a mid-course correction of 222, no problems. All right. So, our pod is departing Drez triumphantly. A simple mission, no rescue missions or anything like that this time, though I packed too much Delta V because I didn't want to go through that, so... Yeah. Okay, well, it says periapsis, but I swear it looks like we're crashing into it. I mean, that's false advertising, isn't it? Uh, or... No, uh, the periapsis is on something completely different. <laughs> but why, shouldn't it be giving me the crashing icon? Come on, game. Oh, there, it's got the crashing icon over there. <laughs> okay, alright, alright. Anyway, on we go. Bill, uh, Bill also goes crazy during time warp initially. And then eventually I suppose we'll settle down. I hope. Oh, no, still crazy. But, okay, there we go. I don't know what the time was. The, the discombobulation time. Uh, I do feel that we have to be concerned about how distressed the Kerbals are when we initiate Time Warp. Okay, well the mission was worth 6,400 science and we're bringing back like more than 2,000, so that is a pretty good haul. 
Though not as big a haul as I, uh, that presumably we could have gotten from Drez. I'm not exactly science farming here. Okay, let's reel out this. It's not too far into the surface, but you know. Oh. Okay, you made a sound. I expected to see my vessel. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go with my usual 26 kilometers. And even though we have Delta V that would allow us to slow down, we're just going to try to go straight in. Just sort of a sunlit ring there. Okay, stage disposal time. Whoop, that was quick. Really immediate effect right in the high atmosphere there. And what is the ablation? It says ablating. On the way back from Jewel it said no ablator resource for some reason. It's ablating and it's taking some, but not a whole lot. Fill in there. And with the sun rising. We are certainly coming straight down. Still less than 10% ablated. But then again, like from Jewel, we didn't ablate anything at all. So. Over the very dark landscape. Is it land land? Don't know for sure. Okay, parachutes. Well, except for the radiation instrument, we had another scientific instrument that we could use. Or maybe I have to unlock that. But I guess we should. The radiation instrument didn't seem to get us a whole lot. But we also didn't land it. I wonder if landing it makes any difference. It seems like the kind of thing that stays in orbit anyway. Dumping the mob propellant amounted to do, to a whole one meter per second right here. We'd be one meter per second faster with the mob propellant on board. Okay, we're back. It says it's recoverable. Let's recover. And back to the KSC. So, it says 4,900 there, but we've got the mission to complete. Tertiary Dibs Platinum, for some reason it's called. Uh, all right, submit. Somebody had asked me to read the science blurbs for Drez, but I didn't even see one. So I don't know. The ergonomic chair, the minimalist office furniture. What does this have to do anything with what we've done? Anyway, all right, we've got all the juicy science there. Okay, so we'll have this Star Lab Orbital Survey, three tons. But that seems interesting. If it's that heavy, it's got to do something interesting, right? Stores research reports. Oh, is it all it does, or does it have... I mean, it says it's packed with all the science tech we could think of. Algae container. Hmm, I don't know. Hopefully it'll be able to get some good science. So we've got that. Well, we'll have to try that next time. I think I'll wrap it up here and we will explore the use of that and other things next time. So with that, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.